Hello, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. So today I want to share about uh, Uncle Pecos video. Uh, this video will be a full guide video. Uh, I will explain his skill, his skill build, uh, his attributes and of course his perk build too. Uh, and for the last one uh, will be uh, Uncle Pecos gameplay. Okay, uh, and don't forget to share, like, comment and subscribe if you want to support my channel. Okay, enjoy the video. Okay, for the first one, uh, I will explain his skill first. Let's see his skill. Okay, his skill, his first skill is piercing sound. Uh, Peko will summon a sound wave uh, to knock back the cat and of course the cheese too. He can uh, knock back the cheese really far to uh, set up cheese faster. Uh, but this skill is kind of hard to use it effectively to the cat because this skill is really close range and Peko needs one second to cast this skill. I think it's uh, much better if this skill can cast instantly. Okay, and level 1, Peko will knock back uh, the cat and of course the cheese too. At level 2, uh, this skill will uh, deal damage to the cat, but it's really not necessary, I think. And level 3, uh, it will be stun, it will stun the cat too. Okay, and let's see the second skill. Yeah, the veteran cowboy is the passive skill. Yeah, it's really great uh, at level 1. Uh, all team will get additional XP from this skill. And um, I think uh, maybe around 30 seconds or 40 seconds, everyone will be uh, will get additional XP if you learn it at level 1. At level 2, every mouse around Peko will increase move speed jump hit and of course his cheese push speed too yeah and Pe yeah Peko really help his teammates from his skill yeah the really amazing is level 3 passive level 3 it will make uh, the Peko an extra life so when he died or weakened he will uh, just resurrect it and uh, his health will be full restored and yeah he gains invincible too when this skill is a uh, trigger but it only can trigger once each game okay yep and the third skill or maybe uh, the weapon skill is the guitar one best performance I think it's similar like a cowboy skill Peko will play his guitar okay uh, and restore teammate HP yeah at level one I think uh, the heal quite fast it will slow down the cat and deal little damage to to the cat at level 2 it will increase their push speed really huge imagine uh, if you use this skill at level 2 and you have the passive level 2 too yeah you can uh, your teammates can push this really fast and at level 3 Mouse who stay in range for 2.5 seconds will be immune to being weakened for 7 seconds. So uh, when Peko uh, use this guitar and you stay at 2.5 seconds within uh, his guitar range, all mouse cannot be weakened or yeah cannot die. Okay, uh, for the second one, his his skill build. I think uh, maybe Peko will uh, have many different build but I think the first, the most important one is this passive you need uh, to up passive level 1 for sure and uh, I think if you need to set up cheese faster or maybe in your team doesn't have devil taffy or magician you can up this skill first level 1 piercing sound or I think you should uh, up level 2 first in this guitar yeah, so uh, it depends on the situation and depends on your role too in that game. But mostly you can use, uh, you can up the skill one, level one. You can focus on uh, max passive first for level three. So you will grant, you will get an extra life. And of course, max left guitar 
Okay, for the third one, his attributes. I think Peko attributes is not really good. Yeah, you can see his attack is quite low. His move speed and his jump head is quite low too. Yeah, it's decent. Yeah, but I think uh, Peko strong. Peko is really strong at his skill, but he needs to uh to get stick together with his friends so his skill can be useful. Yeah, that's it. Nothing uh really special about his attributes. Okay, and the last one, his uh, perk build. This is my perk build for Uncle Pecos. I use a uh, Phyllis, Iron Blood, Strong, and Help Me. Yeah, the original one. The standard perk build for maybe most mice. This is my first deck. Okay, and for the second deck, sometimes you can use Homesick too if you have it level 3. You can use Cut and Run too if you don't want to use Strong. Or maybe you can uh, use another for cost card yep maybe a uh, like lesson learn you can break free from trap faster or maybe uh, yeah that's it lesson learn or maybe will to leave but I think this is not a really good idea yeah the feelers and help me is a uh, really must to use Okay, and if you don't have uh, any S perk, you can use a B plus C perk build like this. This is the good example of B and C perk build. Cut and run, wall crusher, lesson learn, strong, and help me. Okay, that's it uh, for my explanation for Peko skill and perk build. And let's see the Peko's gameplay. A wedge of cheese has been pushed through. Come 
chase me if you dare. There's a crack in the wall. Move out and grab the cheese. A wedge of cheese has been pushed through. A wedge of cheese has been pushed through. A mouse has been caught. A mouse has been tied to a rocket. A mouse has been rescued. A wedge of cheese has been pushed through. A wedge of cheese has been pushed through.
Forward. Retreat. been caught. A mouse has been tied to a rocket. A mouse has been a crack in the wall. Okay guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you like and enjoy this video. And don't forget you can write in the comment section below if you have uh, some recommendation for my future video. Okay, see you soon. Bye bye.